Uh, this radio here is a President Grant export. This is the European Export President Grant made in the early 1980s, around about 1981-82. This radio is now 30 years old. It's a box standard one. Never been modified, which is a nice thing to see these days. Most of them have been butchered and buggered about with and they never are any good. But this one's all totally standard. Now the final outputs in this radio, it's a dual final radio. and uses two 2SC2312 Mitsubishi finals. Uh, now what we're going to do, the radio is all set up standard. So we've got it hooked up to a power meter here with a dummy load. And we're just going to be checking the output we have here. The Reeve X520, and it's on peak hold on the 20 watt scale. We're on AM channel 19 mid 27185 megs, so we'll have some TX on the meter there, you can see, and on the Reeve X we have just on bang on 10 watts. Audio, audio, audio. Standard factory power for this radio, FM, turn that down a bit, again 10 watts. SSB audio 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 four 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 audio peaking over 20 there we've got to 200 watt scale let's have a look audio 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 peaking around 25 watts PEP which of course is standard factory power now I've had a good experience of these radios over the years, I've seen quite a lot of them. Believe you me, some people will say they'll do a lot more, believe you me, they don't. This one is peaked out and that's about all it will do at best is 25 just over watts PEP. Now what we're going to be doing is converting the output, the finals, to IRF 520Ns using these parts here. Two IRF 520Ns, we've got a couple of EKL companion parts to go with them. We've got two new thermal pads there and two 50k pots for setting the bias gate voltage. So uh, I'm now going to crack on, this, disassemble this radio and uh, get on with it. Okay, well, here's the grant you can see down here in the output stage. We've got our two IRF 520Ns installed, and you can just see the two EKL EN369FN companion parts there. They're installed where C188 and 189, the two 560PF caps, were normally located between the base and emitter of the 2312s, the original transistors. Here, here are all the parts we've removed. We've got the two 2SC2312s, we've got our two thermal diodes, the MV1Ys, the two biasing pots, the 100 ohms, the two resistors in parallel with them, and over here the two 560PF caps. Now in actual fact, there are more parts removed than there are parts installed, which is all very well, of course, it's going to give us a bit more power. So now I'm going to reassemble the grant and uh, then we'll give it a bit of a power test and see what it does. Now I've made no adjustment in the radio to any of the settings so uh, it's just a straight swap out, put the new parts in and uh, see what it does. Right so our President Grant export is all back in one piece, all set up again so now what we're going to do is have a look and see what difference the MOSFETs have made if any and of course the uh, the other thing to mention is is that they are uh, an alternative to the uh, obsolete uh, Mitsubishi 2SE 2312 and 2SE 1969 transistors so we are on same as before channel 19 mid 27185 megs we're on AM that's key up needle seems to have moved slightly more and on the Revex there we've got just over 10 watts, about 11, almost 12 watts. Now the important thing is to remember with AM, it's not all about the carrier power, the dead key, it's all about the swing. So let's have a look. Audio, audio, 
audio, audio, four, four. Now that's uh, positive swinging well over 20 there, which it didn't do before, anywhere near that. So let's go up to the 200 watt scale. Audio, audio, four, four. So we're actually peaking now, 30 plus uh, watts there, positive swing, and we didn't even have anywhere near that before, probably only around about 15 to 20. So a big difference there. Let's have a look at uh, SSB. Audio, audio, audio. Well, that needle seems a bit audio, mm, a bit more lively. Audio, audio, four, four. Well, before we had around about 20 to 25 pep at best. Now we've got around 30 to 33 pep. Let's check FM, but of course that should be the same as AM, which it is. There it is. So there we have one President Grant converted from two SC2312 finals to IRF520Ns. Now a lot of people have asked me about gate voltages. Some people have tried these kind of mods, don't seem to get very far with it. Well the gate voltages on these are set to 4.2 volts and that's what they're set to at the gate. 4.2 volts for both of the finals. Uh, obviously you want to keep the current uh, matched if you can to give it running sweet. Now a lot of people have said to me they've tried IRF mods and it didn't work. What's going on? But it could be two reasons. One, you're using bad IRF 520s. Believe you me, there are a lot of crap ones out there and fake ones. Or you're just not doing it right. Uh, it's normally something very simple that's gone wrong and that's why it's not working. So... Uh, Believe you me, I've been there myself with a lot of experimentation before I've managed to get it exactly right, but uh, there we are. So just about any radio with a 1969 or a 2312, you can of course replace them. As long as you know what you're doing, it works very well. So there we are. One President Grant, MOSFET Finals, working well with a good power improvement.